Hey, I hope you're doing well. A couple of thoughts for you today on the return of serve, which I know you've heard that the tennis serve is the most important shot in the game. If the serve is the most important shot in the game, the return has got to be the most important shot because it starts the point. It just determines whether or not your opponent's going to have to hit any shot at all in order to try to beat you besides just you know the serve. The return's got to go in play for you to be successful. So I've been struggling with my return. If you watch my early league matches this year, which, by the way, are all up on the Real Tennis channel. Let me show you where those are. If you go to Real uh, Tennis on YouTube and then uh, just go to videos then and scroll down a little bit, uh, this is a league match. So my return's been struggling. Uh, my return struggled in this match, and my return struggled in this match. And you'll, you'll see more examples of it. And just recently, uh, this match hasn't been published yet, but I've had kind of a, I don't want to say breakthrough necessarily, but I've, I've turned a corner pretty significantly. And I would really boil that down to one thing. And I would boil that down to just remembering and retraining and improving again after not playing matches for quite a while. And it's especially hard in doubles because you've got a good net player across from you and it you can't you don't have the option to just block the ball back and play anymore and singles you can just block the ball and as long as you get it relatively deep then you can kind of neutralize things but not in doubles so the key for me has been just reminding myself forcing myself to just physically relax and allow my body to move smoothly it doesn't have to be a fast swing in fact most of the time against a good serve it shouldn't be a fast swing and I was reminded of this over the weekend. I was recommended this video from GQ Sports. Can an average guy return a 120 mile an hour tennis serve? So this is a guy that it looks like just kind of does content for GQ. Uh, he went and worked with Rick Macy for a day and then tried to return a 100 mile an hour tennis serve. By the way, most of the serves he tried to return were not 120 miles an hour, but just kind of a little sidebar, uh, like random comment. I mean, if you watch a lot of tennis and you've recorded a lot of tennis, you see the a couple were definitely over 100 miles an hour that these high-level, like former pros were hitting them. But a lot of them, they were just kind of spinning in play. And he was still struggling, a non-tennis player, to get the ball back in the court. It's st still a struggle. And... What I noticed about the regular guy is just his physical reaction to the ball coming in that fast was just way off the charts. Like he was literally jumping in the air and like wildly swinging at the ball because when you've never seen that type of ball come in before, even if you're a pretty good athlete, which he is, then everything just ramps up so far. Like you're standing there, you're like bracing yourself mentally, like preparing yourself mentally. Okay, this is going to be big. It's going to be fast. I'm going to have to move so fast. And like emotionally and psychologically, everything just gets so elevated and so escalated. And if in that moment that the big serve gets hit and you read it and your brain is like in this hyped up like state, then you're just going to physically respond in a hyped up way. And so it's kind of hilarious, like watching him try to hit back these big serves because knowing, you know, on paper, on the surface, knowing that A, he's receiving a lot of pace and B, if he would just put the racket behind the ball and just hit the strings, it would go back and play. And that's all he's trying to do is just hit it in the court. He's not trying to do anything fancy or special. He just wants to know, can I just make it? Like, I just want to make it. And Rick Macy, like, reiterated, re reiterates this over and over again. And yet, physio uh, in terms of his physiology, he was just, like, off the charts, jumping and swinging, like, wildly. And this is what happens to us naturally. Like, humans just kind of naturally respond in that super hyped up, like, amped up way. And it makes it impossible to be consistent. So, this is the hard part about returns. And this is what I'm remembering and reminding myself as I hopefully continue to turn this corner on returns, is as the speed of the ball and the challenge of the ball goes up and up and up, your calmness has to also go up and up. Like your physiology needs to go down. That's the hard part, is as the intensity of the serve goes up, your calmness has to also elevate and increase. So your like tension 
and your tightness has to go way down as the speed goes way up. And that is incredibly hard for humans. In any environment, any situation where there's a lot of stress, a lot of intensity, a lot of energy, our bodies just kind of like resonate with what's going on and just kind of mirror like whatever it is that the energy is across from us. And this is a hard part about tennis. You know, when you're at the net and somebody's pounding a ball at you, it's so hard not to get rigid and tight and tense and, and punch your volley. But you're not going to have control or feel or precision that way. So same thing with return to serve. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that my early matches this season, I was so tight. I was, put, I was putting so much pressure on myself. And I knew my returns weren't good. And I knew the net player was good. And serve was coming in. And it's just so hard to just, okay, just take a breath, relax the hand, keep the body smooth, and let's just calmly, just smoothly direct the ball. That's really hard, and it takes a lot of exposure and training. And I think really kind of consciously unwinding that ball of like energy to really be a great returner. So a couple thoughts. Hopefully it's helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.